Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. The title for today's video is Should You Change Your Niche on YouTube? Keep watching and I'll give you my thoughts after the break. Hi everyone, if you haven't subscribed already, Today's topic, should you change your niche on YouTube? If you're relatively new to YouTube, you may not realize that there are lots of different topic areas. These topic areas from a content creator's point of view are described as niches. So my niche is content marketing, business and life. I make videos for B2B businesses uh, to help them use LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube effectively to market their B2B businesses. That's my niche. Other people have travel as their niche, or they may have property investing as their niche, or personal finance. So these are all different topics that they focus on for their channels. Uh, some niches are, and I want to cover this uh, discussion by answering, for, or by making four particular points or, and questions. So the first one, are all niches equal? No. Uh, all niches are not equal when it comes to the amount of interest that advertisers will pay to that channel. If you're, one of your motivations for being on YouTube is to make money, and there's nothing wrong with that, uh, if one of your motivations is to make money, you need to be aware that some niches are more profitable or potentially more profitable than other niches. If you're a daily vlogger, uh, for example, or if you make uh, prank channels, you, you, you want to make a prank channel, you're likely to have a lower level of profitability than somebody who's in a business niche like myself, or uh, somebody who's uh, specific to business, uh, property investing. It's a, a particular niche, it's a sub niche if you like, within a business. Property investing and real estate is probably the number one niche in terms of your CPM. CPM stands for cost per milli and amounts to, and is actually equates to the amount advertisers will pay to run a, a thousand impressions, a thousand ads of your, on your channel. Uh, I've made a video about CPM and your CPM going up. So if you haven't seen that already, I'll put a card to it and I'll link to it in the description. So some niches are more profitable. People like Graham Steff, Meet Kevin are in the property investing niche and it is a very lucrative niche. Graham Stephan is very transparent with the amount of money he makes from YouTube and his videos are predominantly around property investment. He has broadened out and he has a second channel um, but property investing is where his base is and that's a very profitable niche. So if you're in a niche like daily vlogging and you're not getting a lot of views and you're not benefiting from search because people aren't searching for your for you're not answering questions in your videos, so people aren't searching for your videos, they're not finding your content that way, then perhaps you should reappraise or reassess your approach and change to a niche. Now that's great. Uh, let's imagine for, for the sake of this video that you are wanting to move to a new niche. It will be easier for you if you can answer question number two, which is how connected is the old niche to the new niche? If they are quite connect, quite well connected, uh, you'll be able to uh, make a, a fairly smooth transition from one to the other. Uh, let me show you something on, on my channel. So I have uh, obviously the content marketing, LinkedIn, playlists, but I also have experimented with another niche and this niche is in the uh, make money online. Make money online is a large niche that has, will get, uh, has broad appeal. We'll get lots of potentially. We'll get lots of views. So I've made videos about making money online, which are not, uh, which is separate to what I've done relating to B two B business. So you can see here, a respondent review. Some of these videos here, they are about. Well, they are about making money online. They're about analyzing different approaches. So the people who aren't interested in my marketing, uh, content marketing, social media uh, marketing videos might be interested in this learn money niche and it's still a business so it still relates to content marketing business and life so that's me uh in a, sec a separate niche if you're going from say let's say um uh daily vlogging to a cookery channel or day or a cookery channel to 
uh, investing, there's quite a big jump between the two. If you're going to do that, it's going to be uh, quite difficult to just transition your audience and your community straight to the new niche. And in those instances, it may be worth uh, starting a new channel. So that's the third question. Do you need to start a new channel? For me, if I would, let's say I was going to in a couple of years, because I've been on YouTube a number of years now, I think since 2011. So I've made quite a lot of marketing videos. This is my actually my 400th video today. I've just realized this is my 400th externally facing video. Um, so it, there may come a time when I'm think, well, I've made lots of marketing videos. Let me make something else so I can stay stimulated and, and interested because, uh, you know, as a creator, as a, a person that's uh, uh, imaginative and creative, you want to be stimulated by the obviously all the material you're, you're doing and I am at the moment but I might want to go more into this learn money niche or I might want to go into the property investing niche my CPM is good um, it's a good rate and as I say I cover that in that video that I mentioned earlier but the only pe the only people I can see in the YouTube world uh, with a higher CPM on a regular basis are the property investment type so if I was to go into property investment and start making uh, videos about property investment that would be a good niche uh, for me to go into because it may be potentially even higher in terms of the level of profitability you need to get the views up as well it's good being profitable at a low level but you want to get the views up so you're profitable at a high level it, it, that almost uh, that is one of your objectives that must be one of your objectives if i was to do that go into property investing and sort of the kind of videos that graham stephan meet kevin make then i would uh, be able to to answer the fourth question which i'm just leading into now and that's can you test the new niche on your existing channel so i have you see here i've got some videos about making money online so i'm testing the niche it's related to my core uh, content so that's good but can you test a new channel and the reason why you should be you should try and test a new channel is because you may find that after five or six video this might you may find that after a few videos in the new niche you, you're you're getting bored or actually it's not as exciting as you thought it would be uh, and maybe you have to do more research or maybe it's not authentic to you or you're, you're not really that interested you're interested enough for a few videos but not to change the whole direction of your channel so testing the niche the new niche uh, if you can, without it being too much of a jump, if there's a smooth transition, you can test the new niche on your existing channel. Think, my core audience, will they, be exist will they be interested in the new niche? And if they are, brilliant, test it on the new channel. Something similar to what I've done here with a playlist, using a playlist to test it rather than uh, starting a new channel. Uh, if you can't test it, then you will have to uh, start a new channel and you've got you're starting from zero obviously you can reference your new channel in the channels you you, you link to at the start of at the top of your ch existing channel so people will might transfer and have a look at the uh, the new channel but if you start a new channel it's not going to be monetized it's going to be you need to get the 4,000 uh, watch hours and then a thousand subscribers for the new channel so that's why if you are going to transition my recommendation is you transition to something that you can do from your existing base something that's interconnected with what you're already doing so for me if i was to transition i'd probably transition into maybe property real estate and that would be consistent with my uh, va the value that i offer to people which is around content marketing business and life both of these two words give me the option to move into like property investing or, or to move into a related field that would give me the scope to make new videos but without um, moving uh, completely away from the existing uh, content that I've spent years making and let's face it you know in a property business you still need to use marketing to make sure your properties are are, are, are uh, are sold at the right price that you find the right tenants if you're if you're doing buy to lets etc there's a whole raft of of uh, relevant considerations from a marketing perspective that you'll need to do uh, that's marketing related so marketing uh, related uh, property uh, advice and and uh, could be a good way to go in the future but this has been uh, an interesting discussion i hope you found it uh, interesting as well if you have please give me a like uh, 
to summarize, if you're going to make a transition, if you're going to move from one niche to another, it will be easier for you if the niche, the, the new niche is connected to the old niche. If not, it will probably be preferable for you to start a new channel. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching all the way through. If you haven't subscribed already, click on one of the two screenshots to watch another video. I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.